guys, welcome to Books and Key. I am Key, and today let's talk about the saddest book of 2020. I have two contenders. The first one is A Little Life, which so many people raved about, and they filmed vlogs of themselves crying, they filmed reviews that were really sad, and that's what drove me to pick it up in the first place. The second one is Shaggy Pain, which was a part of the Booker Prize shortlist. It is now the Booker Prize winner for 2020, which I think is really cool. But this also was a very, very sad book. So I'm going to compare plots, characters. I'm going to see similarities. I'm going to see difficulties. And then I'm going to announce who wins the saddest book of 2020. So keep watching. Let's talk plots. First up, Shaggy Bain. This is the story of Shaggy, a little boy, and his mother Agnes Bain and the relationship that they have. Shaggy is dealing with his sexuality, but he also has to deal with his mother because she is an alcoholic. Um, their father has left or his father has left and his siblings have left and his entire world revolves around his mother and her drinking. Coming to a little life. This is the story of four friends, Malcolm, JB, Willem and Jude and it spans their lives from their 20s to their 60s which is a very impressive thing to do in a book even if it's as large as this one. And so we see their friendships evolve, we see their lives change and everything kind of is tethered to this one thing which is the mysterious past of Jude. Characters. Okay, so Shaggy Bane could have been called Agnes Bane because there are just those two characters, Shaggy and Agnes. Of course, there is the father who abandons them. Agnes has a boyfriend at one point. There are the other children of Agnes Bane, but everyone leaves. Everyone is a temporary transient character except for Agnes and Shaggy. And so we see Shaggy's childhood based on his mother's drinking. His school life, his life in general, everything revolves around his mother. We see his happiness when his mother stops drinking for a bit. We see his disappointment when she is drunk. And we see him dealing with her moods, her temperaments, her problems. And it really, really is a difficult story to read. A Little Life, on the other hand, does have a wider cast of characters. The main characters itself are four. So we have Malcolm who is a black boy who is quite privileged and wealthy. So he's struggling to see where he fits in. We have JB who is a very sarcastic artist and he's sometimes very difficult to deal with. And then we have Willem who is the good natured actor who just wants to keep everybody happy. And then we have Jude who is a young man and then an older man struggling with a very dark past. But there are side characters who make a difference. I don't want to spoil anything, but there is a doctor that is in the picture. There are some people who are very kind to Jude in this picture because eventually the other characters are side players. And there is Jude who is the main character whose past becomes the main focus after a point. So what is common about these books is that they follow the childhoods of these little boys who are coming to terms with their sexuality and who have to grow up in very very difficult circumstances. So Jude in a little life and Shaggy Bane in Shaggy Bane. <laughs> but it's no laughing matter, it was very very difficult to read. The differences between these two is very very clear. We have Shaggy Bane which focuses only on two main characters. This has a larger cast of characters. This follows Shaggy from when he is 5 to about 16 or 17, I think. And this spans a much larger span of time from the characters' 20s to their 60s. Now it's results time. Who wins saddest book of the year? So A Little Life is sad, but it also has some warm, some hopeful, some funny moments and some really good things do happen in this book. Shaggy Bane, on the other hand, is bleak, okay? This child's childhood is sad as fuck. I mean, it could not be a sadder book. When I was reading A Little Life, I did not cry. It shook me, of course, and it took me some time to get over my reading experience with this book. But when I was reading Shaggy Bane, I had tears in my eyes the entire time almost. And I was crying towards the end because this is the story of a younger child. 
So yes, of course, you must have guessed by now, my winner for the saddest book of 2020 is Shaggy Bane. Maybe it's the parent in me because this is of course the story of a very troubled young child who has to deal with very difficult things at the age where he should happily be growing up, going to school, making friends. Instead, he's cramped in this tiny apartment with his mother, with her financial problems, with her drinking problems. He has no one in his life except this one person and she's the most unreliable person ever. Um, and the fact that it is the Booker Prize winner is the icing on the cake. I will link the video below and above of me reacting to the winning of Shaggy Bain. It's so impromptu because I'm filming myself as I'm watching the ceremony and I'm so happy that it won because it had a very big impact on me. I can remember the entire story. I can remember sequences. I can remember scenes. So it really has left a searing impact on my heart. I do, however, recommend that you read both the books, preferably not one after the other, because you will then just be devastated. But both of them are very, very well-written books. And I highly recommend both of them. If I had to give a rating, A Little Life is like four and a half stars. And Shaggy Bane is a million stars. That's it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video about the saddest books of 2020. Okay, I hope you liked watching it because I don't know if I should be saying enjoyed when I talked about such sad books. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.